hello welcome back again to nx tutorial so in here i still explain about the nx motion simulation now in here i have a case a governor assembly you can see this is the word wages pendulum so uh, in the real condition when it's rotate faster it will create centrifugal force and it's going to upward so in here I will make such a simulation okay now the first thing as usual we should do is create new simulation go to dynamic simulation okay I will create link I can see I can I will create the pendulum link in here okay and also this link and also this bar okay in here I will create as one link even though it's a two object okay but in here it should be so maybe I should edit uh, should be the sub is same in here so it should be together with this okay let me edit now if you need to edit just click twice and then use the edit okay you can see in here I create six link the pendulum okay the connecting rod the shaft and with the wedge and also in here a separate link because it need it need to be sliding to this part okay sliding to this part so, okay the next thing I should do is to create the joint get the joint you can see in here I will create a revolver joint between this link and this link as a base link I specify the origin the location maybe at the center of this perpendicular okay in here also with this base link okay Sorry. Uh, you can see this the difference between this symbol and this symbol. This one. So it's evolute join relative on one link to another in here relative to the ground. So I need need to click the base link. This one. Now you can see the symbol is changed. So it's I hope uh, you you can understand about the difference between level join uh, between those two relative movement and also movement with relative to the ground okay meanwhile in here it's just only sliding because it actually cannot rotate uh, relatively with this shaft so what I need to do now is to add some sliding slider in here between this link and this link ah sorry need to be in the center of this Factor is perpendicular relatively with this link. 
Oke, okay. some sliding action. And I will create this shaft also can rotate. So the shaft, the origin. Perpendicular, but I will not click anything in here because I want to the shaft rotate relatively to the ground. Now the symbol you can see in here, there's a ground symbol. Okay, now I should add some motor in here. Driver, yeah, what point of mill? Let's check about 160. Oh no, I want to accelerate. Accelerate, maybe about. Let me guess just only the, the number okay the next thing I go in here maybe about five seconds what? 1000 the gravity direction uh, going to that direction this is very important also because uh, it involves gravity for this simulation to in the actual condition okay done go to result now as you can see right there's some uh, troubles in here between 3d object there's uh, some kind of a sliding movement but the movement I think is not good why is because uh, now you can see right so there's no stopping action to sliding go to round. Meanwhile, in here, as you can see, there's a there's a shaft uh, shape like this. So the next thing I should do is to create 3D contact in order to make it stop the movement just only until here. So I click the action, the base also apply. We have in here 3D contact. Okay, I go add again to the contact between this part and this part. Click OK. Okay, let's solve it. Now, as you can see, when I involve to the contact, the calculation time requires a uh, time longer without to the contact. So let's check the animation. Let's see, is it good? Now you can see it falls. It falls, but it when it contact in here, it stops. Meanwhile, the rotation I think is not to. You can see it's waving. It's not smooth actually. Uh, maybe the rotation is too fast. Or it's too, or it's too slow. So maybe I will give the acceleration changing a little bit. Let's make it fast. So it doesn't swinging like that. Okay. Now you can see in here also you have a a, a contact. So the next thing in this simulation. I should create this one. We'll be to have to do contact with this. This part also we have to do contact with this. Okay, I click solve. Okay, let's check. So I think the rotation, the acceleration too fast, but we just only s want to see how to make this kind of simulation. Ok, 
okay let me edit the solution step 5000 I think it's okay uh, edit in here maybe the driver the 16 maybe but kind of what the other 60 so you can see uh, I can change all the value so everything uh, is up to you how many the value uh, so, so you can create a good simulation the rotation I think is small uh, it's not the acceleration is not too fast I want to add about 10 more seconds. Oh, sorry, should be in here. 10 more seconds. So, from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. Okay, let's check. Okay, so that's it for this uh, tutorial. S this is just to sort of explain how to do that. So for for the numbers, the value that you will insert, uh, everything is up to you based on your uh, condition. So thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video.